Welcome to the first ever Bringing the A-Game video blog. The topics for today, Tina Thompson, the draft party, and the ESPN the magazine cover. Um, the reason why I'm not typing in is because, really, um, I wanted you to be able to see me, um, understand, like, when you're reading it, that I'm actually writing, typing it the way that I talk and the way that I think, except for I delete a lot. Um, so now with me doing it this way, I'm talking straight up off the cuff. Um, and I'm really trying to get used to looking up there because I can see myself right here. And uh, I could be rather distracting, either that or the busy shirt. Um, okay, so back to the topics I can't, at hand. I know you've seen our website. We signed Tina Thompson. It's huge. It's phenomenal. It's incredible. Penny Toller is a G1000. I just made that up, so don't start using it. I'm going to get it copyrighted. Um, but we signed Tina Thompson, and it brings us to four Olympians on the roster. And um, I had a chance to meet her last week because we held the press conference, and it was awesome. I mean, it was probably one of the greatest days of my job since I've been here and it encompasses everything it encompasses meeting an Olympian you know four-time WMA champ second leading scorer um, being at the Grammy Museum um, holding an incredible press conference all that stuff went into my day um, but meeting her was right up there with meeting Lisa and Candace and Coop and Penny and and all of our other players so I meet Tina um, she rose up in the rental um, with her mom and her son in tow, and she's just a really nice person. She's really nice and laid back and down to earth and really more than willing to do all the stuff I had planned for her that um, that day. I had a lot planned for her, from the press conference to the national conference call to a radio interview to I needed other quotes from her, photo opportunities, um, all that stuff and she just did it with a smile on her face and I appreciate it so much because I know that at some point during the season uh, won't be so many smiles um, but it was a great day she was awesome and I really think that she's gonna help take our team to the next level past the Western Conference Finals past San Antonio and we're gonna get it done um, so let's see next up the draft party, April 9th, at the ESPN Zone in downtown LA. It's going to be the bomb. I mean it. Like, I'm talking to you right now on the webcam, and we're going to have one of those set up down there, and also in our draft room. And in the draft room, check this out Coop, Penny, Kathy, Carla, um, probably our team president. Um, are going to be in there, and the draft board is going to be up, and it's going to be intense, and it's going to be exciting. It's going to be all like, who are we going to get? Um, let's get her. No, let's pick her. Let's pick her. No, pick her. And it's going to be really intense. So after they make the picks, the webcam is going to pop up over at the ESPN zone on their 30 t flat screen TVs, and Coop and Penny are going to talk about why they made the pick they made, how they think that, you know, this player can impact the team, and, you know, where they see... Um, her fitting in. So it's going to be really interactive, really cool. Another great thing about the draft party, Candace Parker in the house, straight up. She's coming down in all her pregnant glory to hang out with the fans, talk about what it was like being a draftee, um, her thoughts on the top draft picks, um, and also just to just kind of hang out and talk about the upcoming season, um, what she's been doing in the off season, bump you around with her belly a little bit. I'm just kidding. Um, but it's uh, it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna be there, so and I think enough said with that, right? Like talk about Candace Parker being there, then me. It's kind of me right here, and then Candace, me, me. I blog for you. I give you all the info. Me, I'm really cool. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Twenty bucks, thirty dollars at the door. Um, get your spot because there's only two hundred spaces available. Let's see what else. Ooh, big news. Did you see the ESPN the Magazine cover? If you didn't see it, booyah. Here it is. Candace Parker makes the cover. She's the first pregnant woman to ever be on the cover of ESPN Magazine. And uh, it's a great accomplishment. This article has sparked a lot of, you know, controversy, a lot of news. And 
really, I just think people need to focus on the fact that she's doing big things. And that's what the article is all about. It's about who she is as a person. You know, like I said, she's your sister. She's your friend. Um, and and she's doing really, really big things. She's taking it to the next level. There's a lot of wonderful, great professional women athletes out there. She's got three of them on her team. You know, there's so many in the WNBA that have endorsement deals. There's so many in soccer and um, golf. But I really think that what she's doing is crossing over the gender barriers and getting it done. And that's the part that people need to focus on. Not the first sentence, but that's the stuff that people need to focus on and be happy about and proud and appreciate. Um, I think that's about it, you know. The one thing I would say is I've been getting a lot of emails lately, and I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you feel like the stuff I'm giving you is useful. Um, I will give you a little sneak peek. We're about to drop some bombs this off offseason. Um, you saw one with Tina Thompson coming in. Um, you just wait. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions for me, you want me to answer anything, just let me know. Send me an email, a-game at la-sparks.com. And I will write you back or I'll uh, put it on my blog. All right? That's all I got.